Hi friends. Today I've had a migraine all day. It started yesterday, but I checked my email a bit ago and I jumped up because it was ink flight time. So let's do this. I got some supplies. I got some Cull O Ring cards. I got the usual goodies here. A cheap paintbrush. It's falling apart. A, a, a dip pen with a steel pointed pen thing and a glass dip pen. Sorry, I get problems with like aphasia and just brain no worky when I have a migraine. And some paper, Tomoe River paper, and I got a box. So let's see what's in here. As usual, we're gonna open it and paper out. Here's our swatches. Ooh! Now this is funny. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing, Maria? Could it be that I just received two new notebooks in the mail? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look at this. Oh. This is a very scientific inktopus. I love it. So then the paper we got, Sakai Technical Papal Paper, Aeroful A5 Loose Sheet Tablet. Unleash the brilliance of color when you write or draw on the Japanese made Aeroful 75 GSM paper. This paper showcases the vibrance and shading of fountain pen ink. It also resists feathering and show through. The five millimeter dot grid offers plenty of creative options to use the 100 sheets. Some ideas on how you could use this. Blah, blah, blah. Eric at E underscore bear underscore ink on Instagram illustrated this month's inky experiment sticker. Cool. So this says loose sheets on the front, but then it says tablet. No, it's just, there's no tablet aspect about it. It's just loose sheets of paper. So I don't know where the tablet comes from. You know what you could do though, if you wanted? It's not perfect, and it's not really the right glue for it. But you could use um, glue, like regular glue, on the top of this to glue it together. So it'll act more like a tablet of paper. Um, I've seen people do that with hot glue. That's definitely not the right glue for it. I think I would try just plain white glue. And then it would be like a tear-off tablet. Let me know if you decide to try it. I probably won't. Another thing you could maybe do I think this is probably short grain paper, which means that you could bind it and then it would instead of being A5, it would be A6. We'll use this as one of our sheets to do samples on. This is um, not white. It's slightly cream. I don't know if that's obvious to you. Okay, now our inks. I'm not turning over the paper. I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna look at them together. Oh, ho, ho, ho. brand of ink I've never even heard of. Octopus fluids. Cool. 
cool. True to its name, Octopus Fluids is an ink manufacturing company based in Dresden, Germany. How does that make it true to its name? I don't know. For over 10 years, Octopus's chemists developed creative, technical, and specialty inks. They produced writing inks with pleasant shades, low feathering, and fast dry times. So we have um, Sepia Schwartz, which I think means black. Uh, aubergine or aubergine, orange, brilliant root, pebble stone, caribic, wine root. Hmm, wine red would be my guess. It's root, I think, is how it's pronounced. It's spelled rot. Here we go. And I have my Inca pet. Let's, let's move this because it's like shining so bright. It's gonna blind us. Um, and I have my usual containers of water here, which you will no doubt hear as I clean things off. Getting my paintbrush wet. So we will start with Sepia Schwartz. Wait, does that mean that the last name? Hmm, yeah, it must. This says, write with vintage style using this dark, woody, neutral brown ink. Maybe Schwartz, Schwartz, Schwartz means like dark, and then it'd be like dark sepia but I always thought it meant black. Hmm. I'm not sure. If you know, feel free to tell me down below. Yeah, perfect, Maria, perfect. Yep, she's, that's just gonna get everywhere. Mm Didn't have enough ink on there, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. this looks like a, a burnt umber to me. Dark brown. Cool as in not warm. Not as like rad. Then I make no judgments on its radicalness. Um <laughs> look. Look, okay. We get what we get today. Next up. 
aubergine. which is described thusly. This charming purple ink has a blue halo with some light sheen. One of the best things I've done in a long time. Now that I've commented on it, it virtually ensures that I will do something to mess it up. <laughs> and then Maria's stuck her face in the ink for some reason. Can't figure that out. Mmm, <laughs> it's pretty on here. Also, I should say apologies if the light isn't good. And the usual standby of y'all, colors are never accurate. Okay, thank you. There are too many variables between camera and monitor. Or, I mean, for all I know, you're watching this on a potato. Or two potatoes, I'm not sure. Maybe some kind of coconut thing. Tell the professor I said hello. Lovely. Then we have Did I say what that was? I think I did. Orange. Bright and cheery, this juicy golden orange color has smoky shading. Mm-hmm, interesting, yes, yes. I like what you've done here. I wonder if I smushed, the, if I broke the tip of this somehow. Try to be really careful. I don't drop it. Oh, this is like the color of carrots. Is it, Maria? Well, I said it. Some part of me thought that. Carrot juice, maybe? I don't see smoke. Then we have Brilliant Rot. This bold red stands out on the page like fire.
ja. Mhm, mhm. Great, great. Mhm. This is a pretty just red. Very red sort of red. Did you hear that? I feel like I just heard an owl. Fire isn't really that red though. Now we have Pebble Stone. This is part of the pastel collection. This light gray ink has a soft appearance that shades well. Mm -hmm. That was gonna get me, I like the rhythm. This is not going to be an ink for everyone, just because of how light it is, I think. I think if you like Sailor 224, 123, 252... and their ilk, you might be okay with something like this. Ooh. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for 6 p.m. Not for anyone in particular. Someone online was asking for ink that looked like writing with pencil. This one's not bad. The overall consensus was my beloved Earl Grey. But this, yeah, this would be a close one. Now the penultimate one. Toddy Beak. It says, sail the refreshing waves of this aqua blue-green ink. <laughs> oh. Oh, this one's awful awful I, and I hate it and I don't need it. So beautiful. I hate what I just did there.
I've forgotten how to write. Like part way through this word, I just am like, how are letters formed? Did you see that happen? Welcome to having a migraine, everyone. <laughs> this is as good as we're getting. Because I don't care. I do care, but we're, we're moving on. We are moving on. There. It hurts so, how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at it! <sighs> Look at it! Oh, it's so pretty! <gasps> Do you know what? Oh! I think it might be a perfect color match for a certain new pin. Oh no! Well, Wine Root, our ultimate contestant, enters the ring. I like wine. Or is it vine? I'm going to call it wine. Oh, yes. You're gorgeous. Ooh. That is like wine. Mm. Drink it. Don't drink the ink. Okay, the purple, look at the purple on here. Dope, dope, dope AF. Okay, now, we're gonna let these sit for a mo while I hunt up that aforementioned pen. But it'll be like no time for you. All right. You probably noticed a small difference. If not, that's okay. Um, I found the pen. This is the Twisby Cerulean Blue. This is Cutty Beak. And that's a pretty good match. It may not look like it on the camera. This is a pretty good match. Um, so let's look at these again. Sepia Schwartz. Mm. 
aubergine, orange, brilliant rot. Ooh, interesting. Uh, pebble stone, caribic, and wine rot. These are still drying. The Brilliant Rote, it doesn't call it out, but this has gold sheen in the heavy spots. So you can see it here and in this T. The Aubergine, they say, has a blue halo with some light sheen. Maybe a touch of green sheen, kind of common to, to bright saturated purples. I don't get much of a blue halo. I think around here, perhaps. Pebble stone has dried to be more legible, but still a fairly light one. And Wine rot is still drying, but I see some greenish, maybe like old gold, so yellowish green sheen forming on it. Um, I can see it in the letters that are dry here, and then even hints of it throughout. And this in the very heavy areas has that sort of somewhat ubiquitous pinky magenta sheen. So, beautiful. Now, I did my usual swatching on my Tomoe River paper. These are not dry yet, of course. And I swatched it on this new um, Iroful or Iroful paper. Um, so this is supposed to showcase the vibrance and shading of fountain pen ink. I certainly do see the shading. I think it is, it feels like it's a little more mm, absorbent. If you look at how this seems to float on the paper a little bit more and this seems to be in the paper. There's no bleeding even on the heavy applications. And the inks are pretty on it. So if we wanna compare. Pretty good direct comparison there. Versus the uh, Tomoe River. This one, that purple on this paper is amazing. And you can really see the sheen on here. I, I hope that shows for you. This actually has some really dark sheen or haloing that happens in the very heavy areas. So my overall first impressions are this seems like really nice ink. This uh, pebble stone feels like the usual sort of more watery pastel ink that we, you know, we all know by now. Um, and I mean, my favorite is, oh, this color sings to my heart, to my soul. It fills me with joy just looking at it. So if we ignore this one as an option, because I feel like I have, like, I, like this, this color is like my soulmate. So if we ignore that. I don't particularly love this orange. And I don't say that because it's orange. 
But of the oranges that I recently tried, I like most of them better. If I'm looking specifically at how it writes in the glass pen. So how it writes in the steel dip pen where it lays down a heavier, I mean that's beautiful, but you kind of don't get application like that from fountain pens. Um, this red is a very like neutral red. Uh, most other reds that I've had seem to lean one way or another. I like my Red Dragon better than this. It's a richer color, but it's beautiful. Aubergine is lovely. I don't think it's quite the color of actual eggplants or aubergines, but it's pretty. Sepia Schwartz is not my kind of color because it's a bit brown. But it is exactly as it describes. You know what it really reminds me of a lot is my um, Iron Gall ink that I made. Um, Wang wrote, yeah, this is beautiful. So anyway, I'm pretty pleased. I really like this month's selection. We got this super dope sticker that I'm going to have to find a place to put. And this paper, so this this will be, um, I, I may use this just for like swatches. I still like how looking at it on Tamoy River more, but like this is dead paper. And this is new, so maybe it'll be around longer. I did do some writing on it so you can get an idea of how it writes. But... A plus plus plus. I always have fun with Ink Flight though. This was like the perfect thing to spice up my stupid migraine day. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, have you used Octopus Fluids inks before? Um, if yes, what'd you think? And which of these would be the one you would be most excited to put in a pen. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day whenever you're seeing this. Take care. Bye.